It's election night in the United States in 2024, and Vice President Kamala Harris will face off against former President Donald Trump. It will be a close race. Today is the last day to vote for the 47th President of the United States. Tonight is the election. As of 7 Troig p.m. on the East Coast, people can no longer vote in Georgia, Indiana, Kentucky, South Carolina, Virginia, and Vermont. The first results of this election are still being looked at. As of now, it looks like Donald Trump will win Georgia's 16 electoral votes. This is a big win for the former president. He lost that state in the last election. Today, though, he's on track to turn Georgia around and win by just two points. Once more, the Page State will turn red. Indiana is next. Mike Pence used to be vice president and lives there. Donald Trump is again expected to win Indiana, even though Pence isn't running with them anymore. He will get 11 electoral votes there. He'll also win South Carolina's nine electoral votes and Kentucky's eight electoral votes. But in Virginia, Kamala Harris won her first election, with 13 electoral votes going to the vice president. Even though Joe Biden won the state by more than 10 points four years ago, she's going to win it by just under two points. Finally, Kamala Harris is again expected to win Vermont's three electoral votes. So, after the first polls closed for the night, Trump has 44 electoral votes, 44 more than Kamala Harris. The polls are now closed in North Carolina, Ohio, and West Virginia at 7 to 30 a.m. on the East Coast. For starters, we can say that Donald Trump is likely to win North Carolina for the third year in a row. Trump will win the 16 electoral votes in the Tar Heel State by two points, up from his 1.3% margin against Joe Biden in the last election. He will have won the state in both 2016 and 2020. Next, Donald Trump is expected to win Ohio again, getting all 17 electoral votes from that state. In 2012, Obama won this state, but Trump has won all three of the last four elections there. Based on the margin, he will win the state by just under 11 points. Then there was West Virginia, which is one of the most conservative states in the country. Its four electoral votes were likely to go to Donald Trump. Now that the second poll of the night has closed, Trump's lead grows. At this point, he has 81 electoral votes. The number of votes for Kamala Harris is still only 16. It's now 8 Dwesworky p.m. on the East Coast, and the biggest poll of the night is ending. There are no more votes to be cast in Alabama, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Illinois, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Mississippi, Missouri, New Hampshire, New Jersey, Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, and Tennessee. 16 states across the country. At the state level, Alabama is expected to give its nine electoral votes to Donald Trump. Connecticut, on the other hand, will give its seven electoral votes to the vice president. And finally, Kamala Harris in Delaware, which is where Vice President Biden grew up, where she is expected to win all three of the state's electoral votes. In the end, though, she will only win the state by 12 percent. The District of Columbia has never voted Republican in the 60 years it has been a part of presidential elections. But Kamala Harris is expected to win all three of its electoral votes. This is a big win for Donald Trump in Florida. He is likely to win the Sunshine State's 30 electoral votes, making him the clear favorite. Trump is going to win Florida a third time in a row, and this time he will win by the most votes ever. The lead between the former president and the vice president is seven percentage points. Now, we'll talk about Illinois. Kamala Harris will win the 19 electoral votes there by just under 15 points. She will also win in Maine, where three of the state's four electoral votes are split. Altogether, she will win the state by 6%. However, Donald Trump will win Maine's second congressional district again, which means he will get one more electoral vote. Maryland is very blue, so Kamala Harris will win there with 10 electoral votes. She will also win Massachusetts, which is another safe blue state. It is expected that Kamala Harris will win all 11 of its electoral votes. Donald Trump is expected to win Mississippi, which gives him six electoral votes. He will also win Missouri and 10 more electoral votes. 
Kamala Harris is going to get all four electoral votes in New Hampshire. Even though it was decided by less than a half point eight years ago, Shell leads the Granite State by just under six points. In New Jersey, Kamala Harris is also expected to win. She has a 13-point lead over Trump for the state's 14 electoral votes. At the same time, Trump will win Oklahoma, which has seven electoral votes, as well as Pennsylvania. This is the important one. Officially, Donald Trump is expected to win Pennsylvania, which is a keystone state, and get its 19 electoral votes. Both campaigns had to win this state. But in the end, Trump will win. He will take back the state he lost in 2020, but won in 2016. He's going to win by a little more than 2%, then Kamala Harris will win Rhode Island's four electoral votes. And in Tennessee, Trump is expected to win 11 more electoral votes. So, after the last big poll of the night, Trump's lead keeps growing. He now has 174 electoral votes, while Harris only has 94. At 8.30 a.m., the polls are closing in only Arkansas. It's clear that Donald Trump is expected to win. He will get Arkansas's six electoral votes and win. He now has a 180 electoral votes, which is only 90 votes away from becoming president. It's now three hours past midnight, which is 9 p.m. at cheese by p.m. Eastern Time. Ariz, Colorado, Iowa, Kansas, Louisiana, Michigan, Minnesota, Nebraska, New Mexico, New York, North Dakota, South Dakota, Texas, Wisconsin, and Wyoming will no longer be able to vote. The second most votes were cast at this time last night. From Arizona on out, Donald Trump is expected to win. This is a big win for the former president. He will get all 11 electoral votes from the state. He lost Arizona to Joe Biden by 0.3% in 2020. Today, though, he's likely to beat the vice president by three points and win the state. That's why Arizona will again vote for Trump. The next state to vote is Colorado, where Kamala Harris is expected to win all 10 electoral votes. She will beat Trump by 8% in this race. This time, Donald Trump will win Iowa by 11.2%, which is his largest margin yet. He will win the state and its six electoral votes for the third time. With six electoral votes, Donald Trump won Kansas and was thought to be the winner. Hell will also win in Louisiana, which gives it eight electoral votes. The state of Michigan and its 15 electoral votes will also go to Trump. This is a huge win for the former president. Last time around, he lost that state to Joe Biden by three points. Out of all the swing states, this one is the most liberal, but Trump will win, beating Kamala Harris by 1.1% in a state he beat Hillary Clinton by a mere 0.2 percentage points in 2016. So a loss in Michigan is very bad for Kamala Harris's campaign. But the vice president will win Minnesota, which is where Governor Tim Walz lives and has 10 electoral votes. She will win the state by only four points, even though Joe Biden won it by seven points in 2020. Also, in Nebraska, Donald Trump won four of the five electoral votes that were split. He won the state as a whole as well as the first and third districts. Kamala Harris will win the second district, but only by two points. That district will give her one electoral vote. Kamala Harris has won again in New Mexico. With 51.5% of the vote, she will get all five electoral votes from the state. Trump has 45.3% on the vote. Kamala Harris wins in New York. Even though this is a surprisingly small difference, since Michael Dukakis in 1988, this is the first time a Democrat has won the Empire State by less than 15 points. She will win by just under 15 points, and she will get all 28 electoral votes from California. There is no doubt that Donald Trump will win in North Dakota. Three votes in the election. He will also get three more electoral votes and win South Dakota. It looks like the former president will win Texas again, with the Lone Star State's 40 electoral votes. This is a huge win for the former president, a very large prize for voting. He'll win the state for the third time in a row, and this time he'll win by the most points, beating Harris by 10. Then, the former president won another big one in Wisconsin. Donald Trump will win Wisconsin, which means he will get 10 electoral votes. 
This is another huge loss for Kamala Harris. With just under a half-point lead, Trump will win Wisconsin. It is without a doubt competitive. There's no doubt that Tim Walls has helped Harris, but it looks like that wasn't enough. Trump will win back Wisconsin, which he lost in 2020, but won in 2016. Finally, Donald Trump in Wyoming, who is expected to win all three of the state's electoral votes. So, we can make a big prediction right now. Donald Trump beat Kamala Harris to become the 47th president of the United States. He will take over from Joe Biden on January 20th, 2025. This is the first time in more than 100 years that a former president has been elected again. With wins in Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, Donald Trump now has 289 electoral votes, which is a lot more than the 270 needed to win. Kamala Harris, who is only 148. Even though it's still early, Trump is clearly the winner. On the East Coast, it is now 10 p.m., which means that voting is over in Montana, Nevada, and Utah. The four electoral votes in Montana will go to Donald Trump, who is expected to win. Nevada will also go with him. This is yet another big win for Trump. Democrats haven't won that state since 2004. But this election, Trump will win the Silver State, which gives him six electoral votes. The margin is just under one point. This is a big change for the former president. Finally, Donald Trump is again expected to win in Utah, where he has an extra six electoral votes. With this, Trump will have 305 electoral votes. Harris is still at 148. It will only be an hour until midnight Eastern time. California, Idaho, Oregon, and Washington on the West Coast will be the last places to vote. To begin, Kamala Harris is expected to win in her home state of California. Before she became vice president, she was a senator from California for four years. She will win the 54 electoral votes in the state. In Idaho, Donald Trump is expected to win with four electoral votes. Then, Kamala Harris will win again in Oregon, this time by a 12-point margin, taking home eight electoral votes. Last but not least, Kamala Harris will get 12 more electoral votes in Washington. Now Harris is at 222 and Trump is at 309. This is midnight on the East Coast and the polls in Hawaii are now closed. Of course, Kamala Harris is expected to win because she got four electoral votes from Hawaii. Finally, Alaska's polls closed an hour after midnight, which means that no one can vote in the 2024 presidential election anymore. And it shouldn't be a surprise that Donald Trump won Alaska with its three electoral votes. It means that Trump won the 2024 presidential election with 312 electoral votes, since the map is now fully filled in. Kamal Harris at that low of 226. Friend Democrats haven't done this badly since Michael Dukakis in 1988. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe right now to get more posts like this before the November election.